What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip to Thrift. Today we're going to hit up a box lot sale. One of my favorite sales. You won't want to miss it. We're going to take the GoPro and we're going to go, yo. So let's go. As usual, thank you guys all for tuning in. Don't forget, if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that thumbs up button, hit that notification bell down below to get notified when I post another video. We're going to go pull some cash out and then we're going to go to the sale. He told me that he'll be there by 8.30. It's almost 8. I'm going to be a little late. All right, guys, so we're here. I'm going to strap on the GoPro. We're going to go. It's a little bit a little bit colder than what I assumed it was going to be. I probably should have wore something. As you can see the flag, if you can see it, it's flying around because it's freaking windy. So let's go. All right, let's go. Let's the car. Yeah, you just kind of make a pile and just kind of go from there. <laughs> it it's colder than what I thought it was going to be. It's like, this is cool. This is nice. A little Aztec blanket. Puppy stuff. Gregor, that's cool. That's old. <clears throat> Green child, little cook. This is another one, another old one. Shredder.
going? What's up, man? I'm gonna find some treasure. Yep. <laughs> I always tend to grab a little bit more than I want. Find another Ziggy cup again. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> not often. It's not often that I find Ziggy. I remember Ziggy. I had one when I was a little kid. I was my little doll when I was a baby. All right, guys. So I'm freezing my butt off. It is a lot colder than it really. It's 38 degrees, but it feels like 18 or 8. So I think I did okay. I, I don't think I got a lot of footage. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go. And I'm just getting really sick and tired of dealing with the GoPro files. Um, they're big files. They're a pain in the butt to edit and deal with. So I'm just getting to the point where I just don't want to do it anymore. And um, I would rather do things that make me happy. I would rather just use my phone, but it's hard to do that. With only, and then just only, have only one hand. Plus it was really cold, I was rubbing my hands together. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the shop, we're gonna line it all up, and I'm gonna show you what I got. And I'll try to give you guys a general idea of what I think it's worth um, by doing some research on it. All right guys, so we're back in the basement. I have everything lined up right here. I'm gonna try to go through it as quickly as possible, so let's get started. All right, so let's start down this end. Let me move this lamp back a little bit further okay so i didn't do like extensive research i did some research on like most of these items so we're just going to go through them real quick um these are cardinal gloves these are wool and angora there's one two i thought that there was another pair but i guess those were the only two pairs they're brand new with tags so these are like new old stock um i could probably get about 15 dollars for both pairs if i just lot them together then we have this really cool, this is like an old um, like ball in the cup where you just kind of shoot the ball up. I guess you could shoot it up in the air. I guess you could play by yourself if you wanted to, but there's two of them and there's, there's two balls and two cups. So I'm not really sure what those are worth. I'm going to have to like Google lens them. They kind of look like a carrot. It kind of looks like, um, it has like a carrot theme to it. So um, that may be a good title. So I, I don't know what those would be worth. I don't know how old they are. I don't know, you know, if they're super vintage, if they're just, you know, maybe like from like the 90s or something. I'm not sure. Then we have this Napa football. They don't tend to be selling for too much. Um, it's got the Napa auto parts. Just a really cool advertisement. It seems like I'm seeing more of the blue one than the brown one. So with that, I'll probably have to pump that up and at least see if it holds air. It might even be just probably um worth more just to keep that not sure then we have um a couple we have a watch and we have a tie this is a tie bar um i think it was like sarah um coveting covered something like that some type of company not really a ton of value here either then i forget who this watch was made by it's not an elgin um i can't remember but not a not a lot of value there either then we have this little plastic harmonica that's pretty much junk then we have this build your own mini zen garden. These are cool. These team, these um, tend to be selling um, pretty well. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the M&M lights. Um, these just go over top of your Christmas lights. So I, I could probably get a couple bucks for them. Not really too sure. Then we have these old, these are cool. These are like, um, I think they're like aluminum, not aluminum, but like a, um, that type of material, you know, they use for 
like, you know what I mean, like the foil type of deal. So I guess you just kind of flick your cigarette in that, put it in your pocket. So those are pretty cool. There's a bunch of them. There is a bunch of these online. I think there's, how many is there? There's five there. I'll probably just sell them in a lot. So I'll probably just sell that whole lot there for like 20 bucks. Then, of course, we have the old Sawyer um, viewer. I do have some extra ones. They're actually right here that I'm going to put with them. There's Winnie the Pooh in there. And then so a couple of these are Winnie the Pooh. I think they're like Winnie the Pooh, Peter Pan. Um, that one is Uncle Scrooge. So Walt Disney. So what I'll do is I'll just I'll just take these and put that with that and just sell that in a lot. Then we have the Crazy Frog game. Um I think it's just a bunch of cards and you're just supposed to like match them up. So that's basically what that is. It's just like a card thing where you got to match. All of them have to be um, separate. It shows you on the back how to do it. These I forgot to look up. These are vintage glass cutters. So there's just a whole box of them. These are pretty cool. Like you can cut glass with them. Um, I'm not too sure what the value is on that. And then we have this scraper, this Red Devil scraper. Don't know what the value is on that either. Didn't look that up. Um, don't know what this is. I think it's like made in Japan. It's just like a little toy, like a, um, like a block toy. I think this is Avon, Avon premium fashion. This is a thimble. Um, I didn't look, I didn't open this up. I didn't look at it, so I don't know what it looks like, but thimbles tend to do okay. If you can find like gold ones, um, like gold and real silver, those do um, very well online. Then we have these juggling balls from Reader's Digest. Not a ton of value there either. These are gyroscope. These are like toy gyroscopes. These are selling online. Um, I could probably put these both together and sell them for like probably like twenty to twenty-five dollars. Then we have a Shrek um, Game Boy Color. This only has about like a five dollar, um, five dollar, um, not profit, but. That it's worth like five bucks. It's not worth a whole lot. I'm, I'm, I'm having a brain fart, guys. Sorry. Um, then we have this um, whistle. It is. I can't remember what the name of it is. I can't see it. I don't remember, but it, it it's worth about ten dollars. Then we have another razor. I don't know if this is Gillette. I didn't look at it. Then we have a door ham razor. Another vintage. Some of these vintage razors can do well. Um, Certain ones are worth money and some of them aren't. Then we have a bunch of yo-yos. I'm going to put these all together. We have this one. This is pretty cool. This is a Yomega yo-yo. Um, this by itself with the box is worth about $20. So I'm probably just going to put all of these yo-yos together. Then we have these. are um, These are Official League. Who are they made by? Press... press Is it Festival? I think it's Festival. Is that what it says, guys? Yeah, I think these are made by Festival. Um, these tend to do okay online. There's a bunch of them. Then there's a vintage Old Navy. There's vintage Keds. So I'll probably just do like a vintage lot of yo-yos and just boom and just bang that out. Probably get about $30 for all of them. Then we have this SWR meter. I'm not really sure what this is for. It's made by Van Co. Um, this is worth about $20 as well. Um, there's one of these that sold. This is the, this is a Tonka Toddler Peekaboo Traveling Puppets. These are like puppets you put on your finger. Unfortunately, the car, um, there's two wheels broken on the car, but the figures are okay. They change faces. Um, there's one that sold. He had it listed for over 50, but he took an offer. I don't know what the offer is. If you guys want to know things like that, you can um, subscribe to like Worth Point. I think you can even use the one um, that we have. Man, I'm like out of breath, guys. Sorry, I'm just very under the weather lately. Everyone in my house is sick. Spiral score, well, not everyone, but you know, just me and my wife right now. This is from 19. 76 blue box some of these old toys tend to do very well i i seem to pick them up whenever i can um they do tend to do well um i didn't look this clock up this is the linden alarm clock i don't know if it works or not i'll put a battery in it and test it so tom and jerry i didn't look these up there's the drum set spike with the bass and droopy with the microphone so i guess it's like the tom and jerry band there's two three and four so there is one missing unfortunately there's one maybe even more than one i don't know how many people are in the band maybe there's five maybe there's six who knows then we have these hunchback of notre dame i think these are from the 90s these are like 97 or nine somewhere in the 90s 
Um, not a ton of value here either. Probably like $20 for all of them. Then we have these vintage skates. I see a lot of these listed new, like a couple pairs, like a blue pair. Um, these are listed new for like under $20, something like that. So these aren't really worth that much. I was just kind of grabbing things that I know um, in certain areas, they had a potential to be worth money. So we're definitely going to get our money back. We're definitely going to make some money, but you know, just not a ton of profit here. It, it is what it is. Um, maybe with the clothing, I didn't look the clothing up yet, but there is some older clothing. I looked up some of them, but not all of them. And then we have the helmet. So that's, which is a biking helmet. It's Bont, Bontra, Bontrager, Bontrager. I, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but, um, this is the, let's see what model it is. I can't remember, but all right. So this is a quantum size medium. I see a bunch of these. Um, they sell for a lot, like for like closer to $100. The reason why I picked this helmet up is because it's in very good condition. I'm going to test this piece on, in the back to make sure that it works. That is for like the fitting for the sizing of it. Then we have this cool little puffy stuff, soft wall hanging. It's made by Dolly. Um, a lot of these I see that are listed are Disney. So um, it's just really cool. It has cute little colors. So um, maybe I could do okay with that not sure maybe like 20 bucks something like that then we have this echo scarf i just thought it was cool because it has the um i think it says like save the animals or something on it it's just really nice really cool some of these echo scarves can do very well um i only grabbed this one because this was the only one that really had any an interesting pattern or interesting theme so i grabbed that um, then we got a bunch of dolls here. We got Santa. I grabbed him because he had a really interesting looking face. Um, I'm not really sure where that's from. We have Jeremy Roenick, but he's missing a piece in the front, his bobblehead. Um, probably not, not worth much if he's not complete. Um, I didn't know that until I didn't notice that until after, like I said, it was too cold to really sit and look every single thing up. So I was just kind of just going with my instinct and grabbing items. This is a cool doll. It's got like a face changing, um, change. She changes faces. So you just kind of turn her face and she changes her, her whole, change her whole outlook on life. Wish we could do that. Right. Um, I think it's like made in Japan, something like that, or Hong Kong. Um, I'll do a little bit more research on them. I was looking dolls up yesterday and the value of them, some of them was just ridiculous. So I was like, you know what? I'll grab these. Um, this one has a super soft head. These are all like soft head. Um, this one is really, really soft. Um, that one I think might have a little bit more value. Don't know if they gave it a haircut or not. Then we have this cool Stetson. Stetson's a really good brand you want to pick up um, most of the time. This is... Um, I forget what this hat is called, um, this type of style, but um, this is a good style. It, it's okay. It's not in perfect condition. It's got a couple little stains here and there. It's suede. I don't know if it's leather. It's probably, it, it's either leather or polyester. It, it does feel like it's made out of leather, so it might be leather. Then we have this music box. I just thought it was cool, but it's definitely messed up. As you guys can hear, um, there's something wrong with it. It's going to need, the music box is going to need replaced in it. So that's probably not worth a lot. Then we have this Desert Storm Operation Yellow Ribbon. Um, these aren't worth really anything at all. Bad pickup. Bad pickup, Rock. Bad pickup. Then we have this, um, it says Julia Child, The Way to Cook. I have to look this up. I don't know if this is a... Um, if this is another soap opera um, item or something like QVC, I don't know what that is. I got to look that up. Then we have this all wool. This is here comes that brand again, that WPL. Um, I do have a pair of wool pants made by the same company. So I don't know if this is military or not. I have to look this up. Then we just got a bunch of sweaters. This one is Bulky Nick by Campus. That one's like a cow neck. Then we have another one. This one is another Campus. Uh, Continental Rib Campus. I seen one sell for a lot for like seventy dollars, um, but it was like a really cool cardigan. Then we have this McGregor uh, Midnight Sun Collection Sport Sweater. <clears throat> this one has a cool pattern. This is actually acrylic. Looks like wool, but it's not. Then we have a lamb's wool, another cardigan. 
Um, there was a couple Batman shirts, so I grabbed them. This one is an all-over Batman. Then we have the Oakland Raiders. It is on a, a, t a team apparel NFL tag. It's not made in USA. Um, if it would have been um, Los Angeles Raiders, we would have been in like Flynn. Then we have, but this shirt's probably worth about $25, something like that. So we have Puritan. Um, this is all wool. Another cardigan. Then we have another cardigan. This one is... I think it says Phoenix Knitting Mills. I'm not really sure what this is worth either. I'm going to look that up. A lot of times, some of these old sweaters can have some great value. Then we have another Batman. Um, it just has a Batman symbol. This one is actually... Um, this is the BioWorldMerch.com. Not sure what that is worth either. Then here's that brand again. Actually, it was a different brand. This is WFS. This is a wool blend. These are wool blend. These are going to need to be cleaned up. Then we have the Girl Scout Leader outfit. It has the ribbon still attached to it. Um, it's got a white ribbon. It does have, it says, what does it say? Campbelltown, something like that. Campbelltown, number 18. I'm pretty sure that this is the leader. I don't know what that is, but it's got the Girl Scout tag on it from all the listings that I see this is from the 40s or 50s probably about a $30 value people are listing them really high but they're not worth it um, this is a cool Aztec blanket um, it's like a heavyweight type of so I'm not really sure what that is worth kind of tapestry or whatever you want to call it then we have these Woolrich pants which are obviously going to be worth a decent amount these ones let's see the tag what we're looking at here at least these still have the size, huh? So we have Woolrich, made in USA. I didn't see these last time. I did buy the red ones from him. These are a size 38. These are all wool. So I don't know what year these are from, but these are the gray plaid stripe. So that's cool. They're definitely worth a few bucks. And we have this San Francisco cable car. This is a music box made out of wood. It's pretty cool. This one does work. I did test it. So this one works. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the collectors. Tin for Crayola. Let's see if we can get it open with one hand. It's got two packs of crowns in it. It has the collector's edition colors. Um, this is only worth about, about 10 or 15 bucks. Then we have Mother Goose shoe box. Okay, then we have this bodybuilding magazine. Um, it has Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, he is part of like the... The forward, so there you go. There he is right there. Um, some of the pictures in here are graphic. This is worth about 20 bucks. Then we have two autographed pictures of Kenny G. I just thought they were cool. Not a ton of value there either. Then we have another autograph. There was one that was accepted. Um, she had it listed for $100. She accepted an offer. This is Erica Kane from All My Children autograph. It even has a certificate, the COA on the back so that's pretty cool that'll help seal the deal there is one of these photos listed but it doesn't have the plaque and it doesn't have the coa on it then we have these rosaline i think these are crystal too are these made out of crystal these are just like glass it's like a glass vase not really sure then we have this other one this tuscany uh, mini english biscuit barrel so that's pretty cool that's made out of lead 24 percent lead um, that's only worth about ten dollars. Then we have this cano mat. This might have some value to it. I don't see any listed with um, with the box like this and the extra bottle opener and knife sharpener. So this is really cool. A lot of these ones that kind of go on the wall um, are worth a lot of money. Um, this is just a slim line, so that's pretty cool. Didn't look him up. We got Santa Claus by Gorham. Didn't look that up, so I don't know what that's worth. Then we have Ziggy, was my favorite growing up. Um, it's got the Ziggy um, logo right there. Pretty cool. Then we have this Justice Belt. It's not in the best condition. It is a little rough. Um, I don't know why I grabbed this. It was just there. It's just a leather purse. Not really worth too much. Then we have this Orioles bottle stopper set. We got Machado, Hardy, um, um, Scoop, and Davis. Um, not really too familiar with those players. Those are newer players. Then, of course, I didn't know if this was going to have any value to it. This is a Magellan Roadmate um, GPS. 
this is not worth really much at all. Um, I'm still going to list it. I'm going to lot it all together. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get like 10 bucks plus shipping for that. And we have this musical instrument. I can't remember what these are called. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research on this to see what this is worth. So there you have it, guys. I feel like crap. I'm going to get this stuff um, situated, organized, decide what I want to list, what I don't want to list, what's even worth listing out of the pile. Um, I just kind of just went in every direction when I got there and just kind of started grabbing things. Um, there was a couple people that were there before me that may have gotten something. Um, I, I know he's going to continue to put stuff out throughout the weekend. Um, is it worth it for me to drop in? Here and there, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I do need to concentrate on getting some of this stuff listed, getting stuff period listed. I have a few items to ship as well. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. Peace out.